Yes, yes, I know. Dreamcast. This is my new LP, guys. This is what I've announced earlier. If any of y'all have seen my uh, Nintendo Tour video, um, my brand new LP. This game is a big, 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 big part of my childhood. I play this game constantly as a kid, all the damn time. Like. In my video I mentioned, oh, we have to wait, uh, read this. Graffiti is art. However, graffiti is an act of vandalism and crime. Basically, it says, don't do it because Sega is not responsible for your actions and your stupidity. So don't do it. Now loading, and we're going to go play... Jet Grind Radio! Jet Grind Radio! <laughs> Yes, guys, this is my new LP of Jet Grind Radio. Um, uh, just to give y'all a heads up, I will be 100%ing this game. We're going to get every single item in the game, every single character, even secret characters. Um, and let's press the start button, and we're going to go to new game and press start. Alright, and it begins with a little introduction, and I'm going to shut up because the guy will tell you everything about it, so... Somewhere in Asia, there's a city that cannot be found on any map called Tokyo, but everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates, powered by newly developed Netrium batteries, and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station manned by the DJ Professor K that plays nothing but non-stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy's by the people of Tokyo Tom. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukkuku Group, combined their efforts to co-found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyo Tom have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudy's have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo To are ready to explode. They're ready to explode. Oh. <laughs> I love his voice. It just sounds so freaking awesome. Don't y'all think? I do think so. Just freaking awesome. Great intro. And I'll explain later, but Gum is gonna... This is Gum. She is um, our first female member of the group, and she will definitely show us the basics, especially since you're a newbie at this game. Definitely want to uh, follow her moves. So basically, just read the instructions at the bottom. And every time you do a tutorial in this game, the character who's showing you how will do a little demonstration. And um, we just have to copy the moves. If you mess up, you just retry. Um, it doesn't affect anything. Um, and this is our main character, Beat. So this is um, basically the founder or the starter of the group we're going to be uh, mentioning here in a little bit. Um, not every... the characters have a minor background. They really don't go into detail in the game. You learn more about the characters and their bio, like on the internet, and stuff like that. So we cleared our first part tutorial with uh, Miss Gum. Um, and then she will just continue, uh, sweet, I'll try this next run. If you pull the L trigger, the camera will automatically face forward. The L trigger is also the same button you push to graffiti your car. So basically, I'm just, um, this game is about what Dr. or Mr. Professor K was telling us about. Um, it's about graffiti in Tokyo, and you're part of this, uh, gang called the GGs, and basically you go around and graffiti in Tokyo claiming your areas. Kind of like a, like a, what's it called? A property, no, property war, but like a, like a gang war, but not like a gang war, like a graffiti war, I guess you could say, make it more or less violent, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to try our very last run with Ms. Gum. If you see something floating over your head, pull the L trigger to start spraying. So basically, same thing. Um, you press the L button to spray paint. And uh, just to give you all a heads up, there's three different types of spray painting. There are your small graffitis, which what she's spray painting right now only takes one pull. 
there's your medium sized graffitis and then there's your large. Now we'll be getting into the medium and large ones here in a little bit in our next tutorial but definitely um, we just want to collect our spray cans. You can't graffiti until you collect your spray cans. Now I'm going to try to be boss. Oh I didn't make it. Damn. Oh well. Whatever. Let's just continue spray painting. Alright, and then Gum S joined us. Minty Fresh. Hey you! Hey you! Not bad, I guess. I can join you. Sweet thing. <laughs> Tab. Yo! Think you can keep up with me? Let's check your qualifications. If you see an arrow, use the analog joystick to follow it and paint some fat lines, yo. Man, these punks are so rad and groovy. <laughs> Alright, so what Tom's gonna do for us is he is going to show us the medium graffiti. So there you go, you just follow. Um, oh, we'll show here in a little bit. So collect your spray cans. You're gonna pull your left trigger, you're gonna move down on the analog stick, and uh, you just follow the motions basically on those arrows. Um, I went a little too quickly on that, <laughs> but um, at first it's kind of hard, but definitely if you have the right controller, like this is on an emulator, and I tried to play this game with my Nintendo 64 controller, it did not work, that was a freaking failure, it was just... <laughs> It was just crazy. No, it didn't work. So I had to especially order a, a Logitech gamepad, like I previously mentioned on my Scoured Sword um, episode. Um, but anyways, he's showing us how to grab onto these cars, basically. Um, I really don't see the point in these. You can easily just grind up those rails. Um, the only use I saw for the, these car things was in a later stage in the game where you had to race against someone else and then the cars actually help you a lot but it's not a big deal you can win the race without it but anyways you ride it all the way up and he's gonna show us that we're gonna go all the way down and then we're gonna graffiti a little area um, right up ahead as he's demonstrating for us I really like Tab's voice. Like, I like his character and his demeanor. Like, and he's blue, man. Who doesn't like blue characters? Like, Sonic. Duh. Blue is my second favorite char er, character. Oh, I missed the car. <laughs> but anyways, when you try to get on a car, um, basically you kind of like go a little forward. If you ever put it this game, it feels like the car is a magnet and it just pulls you in. Other times you have to be very extremely careful but not to hit the cars because you will. You, you'll hit these cars and you'll bust your ass and die and it's not cool. So we're going to be freaking risk takers and go on the right side because we're in Tokyo and as you know you drive on the left side instead of the right and we're just jumping over these cars like we're freaking badasses. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no I don't want to do that. <laughs> I jumped on the car. We're going to ride this rail yo and then graffiti this. Alright we finished part two of our tutorial with Tab and one more part to go. Yo, I think you can do this last run. You know what I've just noticed that he sticks your tongue. He sticks his tongue out at you. He sticks his tongue out at you when he says yo. <laughs> but anyways, you want to follow this little run. It's not so hard. You want to just jump on those rails. And the good thing about this game is you don't have to like balance on the rails or like control it. You just jump on the rails and then you go. You don't have to like do any balancing or cornering or anything. And um, from time to time, guys, you'll see me pause the game like that because the recorder I'm using on my computer only lasts or only records up to 10 minutes at a time. So I'll pause and I'll restart it so I won't like cut the episodes in half and it'll be like a random awkward ending. But, anyways, we get tab. I'm sorry for the loud crack just now, that was my chair. It's broken. <laughs> I'm so freaking ghetto! Alright, listen, bullets can't touch you when you are dashing. Got it. And that's very important to keep that in mind. Alright, narration time with Professor K. Hey out there, this is Tokyo's very own number one pirate power station, Jet Set Radio! Over the hood! 
through the streets and right into your brain. We're transmitting our signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're right high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Oh, yeah, it's like a giant K on his forehead. Like it's stamped on his freaking forehead. <laughs> Three gangs are fighting for the Tokyo streets in the west from Benton Cho, the city of the night. We got those high-tech maniacs, those man machines, the noise tank. And in the east, from Kogane Cho, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy monster mask wearing gang, Poison Jam. And from Shibuya Cho in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the GGs. The GG's home turf, Shibuya Cho was just a cat. Was it Poison Jam? They were talking about spreading out there. Or maybe it was the noise tank, trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order Kisatsu bracelets all ready for you. So get yourselves to the bathroom and brush those, those teeth, boys and girls. Cause a whole, it's a whole load lot of trouble, trouble is heading your, your way. way. <laughs> I love it when he says that. He does the craziest shit in this game. All right, so we're gonna save our game. Um, I'm just saving over my practice file. It's not a big deal. I've pl I can play this game technically. I have this game on my phone, and I still have it on my phone. I play on my phone. It's just so much easier to play on a controller. You have no idea. <laughs> Chapter one: The GGs. All right, guys. So this is actually the we're in the GGs headquarters. I guess they're like their pad dilly oh shit <laughs> anyways this is the map of benton or benton tokyo to there's three main areas the kogane cho benton to uh, cho and our main area shibuya cho that's our home turf uh shibuya gg is our first stage we're not gonna get there just yet i'm gonna show off some cool stuff like right here you can actually go to the internet uh the dreamcast was i believe one of the first systems that offered internet um, then we have the radio. I believe we can listen to any of the soundtracks or music on the game. I definitely recommend it, guys. It's, this game has amazing, sick-ass songs. Um, right here we can go to save our game and, um, change the settings. Um, right here you can choose different types of graffiti. Right now we're not going to mess with that because we don't have that much to choose from. We only have the three basic graffitis right now. Um, and we're back at the Tokyo toe map and just scrolling through one more time showing you the different things um but yeah that is um our pad our turf there's our little dog i forgot his name honestly um that dog actually keep in mind this dog He's a cute little thing, isn't he? He's just freaking adorable. So, he is actually one of my favorite characters in the game. Um, and he is just really cute. I forgot his, I think his name was Potts, I believe. Don't remember, but I believe it's Potts. Like, weed or something. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of... Uh, my first episode of Let's Play Jet Set Radio with me, Gina. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for the following videos, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.